Welcome to Simply Fun's How to Play Dish Em Out, a game where you hustle to cook up your customers' meals without serving incorrect orders or wasting food. You can play Dish Em Out with two to five players ages eight and up. Dish Em Out is good for developing planning skills as players collect food tiles based on the customer order cards received while considering the varying cook times. Dish Em Out also helps with strategy skills as players take turns assigning customer order cards and make decisions based on the complexity and the associated point values. Each player chooses a diner board and places it in front of them. Sort and place the food tiles and penalty tokens into the slots in the kitchen caddy. Determine how many customer order cards you'll need based on the number of players, see chart, and place the remaining cards back in the box. Shuffle the customer order deck. The first person to shout out what they ate for breakfast will deal first. Give them the chef's spoon and cards. Rival diner owners are under pressure to cook breakfast for their customers as quickly as possible. Some food types take longer to cook. You will need to plan ahead so the entire order is ready to serve at the same time. Players receive points for successfully completed orders and lose points for wasted food and incomplete or incorrect orders. The player with the most points when the flow of customers runs out is the winner. This game is played in rounds. Each round consists of the following actions. 1. Dealer assigns customer order cards. 2. Players take turns selecting food tiles. 3. All players cook food items. 4. All players serve their customers, only if they're able to complete a full order. After all four actions are completed, the chef's spoon and the customer order deck are passed clockwise to the next player, and a new round begins. 1. Assigning Customers The player with the chef's spoon is the dealer for that round. The dealer draws customer order cards equal to the number of players. Then the dealer assigns one customer order to each player, including themselves. You can keep a more difficult card with a higher risk and point value for yourself, or assign it to an opponent in hopes of giving them more than they can handle. All players then place their customer order cards on one of the empty table spaces within the orders section of their diner board. Receiving your next customer card. You will receive additional customer orders in the following rounds. If you did not serve the customer at your first table, you will place the next customer card at one of your other tables. If you were able to successfully serve your first customer, then your next customer card can be placed again at your first table. This will continue for each round. In later rounds, if all the table spaces on a player's diner board are full, they must immediately serve one of their current customers, even if that order will be incomplete, before receiving a new customer order card for that round. 2. Selecting Food Tiles Players take turns selecting their food tiles from the kitchen caddy. Starting with the dealer, going clockwise, players may only select three food types on each of their turns. You may take up to a total of seven food tiles, but only of three ingredient types. If your customer order has more than three food types, you will not be able to complete the order on this turn. Look at the cook times for each of the ingredients to help determine which items to choose when. Some items take longer than others to cook. The food tiles are then placed in a stack on the prep column of your diner board. 3. Cooking food After all players have selected their food tiles, the dealer announces, Cook time! All players at the same time begin to slide their tiles from the prep column to the right on their kitchen boards. After the first round of the game, players will have additional food tiles on other columns. These items will also slide one column over to the right. We recommend starting with the top row and working your way down, moving all the food tiles on your diner board one space to the right. Some food types don't need to stop in each column. When a tile reaches a space with an arrow, slide it across until it reaches the column indicated. Once food items reach the ready-to-serve spaces, they can be used to serve any combination of orders. Note that some food items can remain in the ready-to-serve area for up to three rounds, while others only have two rounds before they must be served or go into the trash. Orders can only be served if it's completed. You may not serve some items on one turn, and wait to finish the order on another. Any unserved food in the final column of the ready-to-serve section will be moved into the trash column during cook time. Players will need to collect a penalty token for each item that goes into the trash. If a player does not yet have enough food in the ready-to-serve area to complete an order, the order card stays on their board and they will wait until the next round begins to continue. 4. Serving Customers 
When you are ready to serve a customer's order, move the food tiles from your ready to serve area and place them on the corresponding spaces of the customer order card to check that you have the correct food items. An order may not be partially filled in one round and completed in the next. A player may also be forced to serve a customer an incomplete order to clear a table to make room for another customer card. Return all used food tiles to the kitchen caddy. Then place the customer order card in a pile next to yourself along with any penalty tokens. These cards and penalty tokens will be used for scoring at the end of the game. Penalty Tokens Players receive a penalty token for each missing or incorrect food item when serving customers or for any food tiles that move into the trash column during the cooking phase. Food tiles in the trash column are removed from your diner board and placed back into the kitchen caddy. Complete the round in which the last customer order cards from the draw pile have been assigned. Then the game enters the final phase, still taking turns going clockwise. Each player has to select one last set of food tiles, only three ingredients, up to seven total tiles, to place on their diner board. Cooking then occurs as normal. The final phase continues with all players cooking their food and serving their remaining customer orders. The game ends once all cards are removed and all food tiles have been served or moved into the trash column. Players total the scores from their served customer order cards and subtract any penalty tokens received to determine their final scores. The players with the most points wins. In the case of a tie, the player with the fewest penalty tokens wins. If there is still a tie, the player with the five highest point customer order cards wins. Manage your customer orders and quickly dish them out to make your diner rank best among your competitors.